recipes. My name is Laura and I will teach you how to cook all Mexican light food. I'm kind of nervous, this is the first time I'm filming in English, but well, people ask for it, so I will try to do it. I hope you get to understand some of my very bad spoken English with Northern Mexican accent, but let's give it a try. So, what we are gonna do today is a surimi cocktail. Surimi is an imitation crab, and for that, you will need these things. The good thing about this recipe is that you get the fish taste, and also you don't have to make a mess in the kitchen. And what we will need is some coriander, ketchup, some garlic salt, uh, red crushed peppers, mm, avocado, uh, lime, a little jalapeno, some cucumber, onion, tomato, and salt, vinegar, I call this thing, uh, black pepper, please, and imitation crab. And I actually, what else? What is that? I think that's it, so let's begin. If you're trying to keep fit or lose some weight, try to keep it with four ounces of imitation crab, other way you can use as much as you want. And uh, we need a little juice for this cocktail, so we'll make it here. I'm setting two cups of water in, in this pan to let it boil, and I will boil a little imitation crab so I can get the taste in the water. And I will put on it a little salt, garlic salt and a little salt. And I will leave it cooking for about boiling for about what? Maybe five minutes and that's it. And we're gonna begin with our vegetables. So we have our crab imitation boiling and the next thing we're gonna make a pico de gallo. So what you need to do is just to cut in little pieces, little squares your onion, your chile jalapeno, and the, the tomato. So let's begin. My friend Cecilia always says that the most boring part of a cooking program is when people keep on cutting the vegetables. But oh well, I have a story to tell you. Do you know the word cocktail? Uh, any idea where it comes from? But actually it's very Mexican as my recipes. It came from the times of the Victoria Queen, when the British people used to go to, to the ports in Mexico, especially to Campeche. They used to have their drinks in the bars and mix them with a metal spoon or a metal, uh, I don't know, thing to mix them. So the, the, be uh, the beverage will take this funny taste. And once they saw this bartender using a root, to mix them, so they ask, what is that? And he says, well, it's a cola de gallo. And they were like, oh, a cocktail, yes. So, actually, that kind of stuff, using the cola de gallo root to mix it, gave a good taste to the cocktail. So, they say, okay, cola de gallo, cocktail. And that's where the word comes from. Let's keep on cutting the onion. If you are planning to get someone tonight, be aware of the onion. I recommend you to put the onion and just squeeze a full lime on it and add some salt and pepper. This will help you with the bad view. Now we're gonna cut in little pieces our cucumber. I don't like to peel it because I have heard that the most part of the fever is on the skin, so I like to keep that fever fiber for my body. And I will also cut the coriander and use one quarter of this avocado, also cut it in little squares. Cut your crab in little pieces, the one that hasn't been boiled, and Add it to your vegetables as well as the onion and the cucumber that I have already here. A spoon of vinegar. When my imitation crab soup is ready, I just add three spoons of ketchup and all this I will put it into the vegetables. Just mix it well and if you like something a little hotter you can add some Tabasco salsa or red crochet pepper. Mm. These guys taste very, very good. So what else do you want? You have a light food with a Mexican taste, 
easy, fast, very cheap to do. And you don't have to make a mess in the kitchen, that's the best part. I'm having this with some salty crackers and a cup of pineapple for dessert. So enjoy. And if you guys don't understand a single word of what I said, don't worry. The recipe is written down there.